Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Guys, today's video is um, a sheen video. Um, there are no clothes in this video. <laughs> it's just random items that I selected from sheen. So guys, I think I have 10 or 11 items I wanna show you guys. And they all came in this little bag, which I love. Oh, we have one clothing item. Sorry, guys. Um, so the first thing that I did purchase is this little one-sized um, black um, tights. Um, I guess these could be considered a clothing item. Um, I don't own a pair of tights. I don't own a thick pair of tights. Um, and I saw these on Shane for £3 um, and I decided to pick them up. Um, guys, just to let you know, everything that I, every um, price that I give you in this video is solely just the price. Um, I did get free, I'm going to move you guys across, my lighting is not fantastic, I do apologize. Um, I did get free delivery, um, but I thought I would pick up a pair of tights just to ever, in case I ever needed them, just to have them here. These are super stretchy they are really thick tights um and they're super long so we'll test them out and see if they fit and i'll let you guys know in a future update but for three pound i think for a pair of tights that thick i thought were pretty awesome um let's just go ahead and start pulling some stuff out so guys i don't know why i purchased these things but i did buy this I think I bought it because it was in a tube, not because I thought it was fantastic, but I bought this um, double-sided brush. This brush has a super fine tip, you guys can see, and then it has um, a little lip pen, one on the side. Um, this was only 99p. I think I picked it up because I needed to put an extra thing into my cart in order to get the free delivery, um, but... I'm sure this will be well loved if I put it into a giveaway for you guys, um, maybe in the future. And um, the next thing that I purchased was this adorable ear cuff. I love um, dragons and snakes and I thought this little ear cuff was super cute. It has a pin at the bottom and a cuff at the top. So you pin this to your bottom um, hold it in your ear and you clip the cuff at the top and it is really really cute and it only costs um a pound so i've not tried it um but i will catch you guys up at a later date and let you know how well this went i love these little cuticle um tools you get a set of three guys i didn't think i was buying a set of three i really didn't i thought i was buying one um these are just flimsy plastic but they're fine for what i need them for these just you can see my nails are not great but they just simply remove old dead cuticle skin from around the bottom of your nail they are awesome um 99p for a pack of three which i thought was good we're getting the purple we're getting the blue and we're getting the pink guys i know my lighting in this video isn't fantastic unfortunately my main lights um have gone um and we're waiting on them getting repaired so we are literally using a simple ring light you'll see it right here um and i'm trying to get as much oh that's actually a bit better now um i'm trying to get much light into the front of the camera as i possibly can um, so the next thing I purchased, again, guys, I did not know I was getting a set of three, thought I was getting one. I couldn't wait to try this out. So you guys will see that this one looks used because it is. Um, this is a set of three pink fuzz um, face removers. Um, I thought I was getting one i got three i'm so stoked um and this simply i mean guys these are super sharp so if you're going to use these be seriously careful um you get the little pink fuzz that's on just the side of your cheek um very very fine hairs um and they do say if you pluck those hairs they do tend to come back thicker but if you shave them they tend to be fine because it's not um regrowth it is only simply the the hair that was already there. The follicle is, is just growing. You're not creating a new follicle. So um, I was happy to purchase these. You simply slide it over the top of your pink fuzz and it removes it. Guys, I used this two days ago and I honestly couldn't believe the amount of pink fuzz that came from my face. I didn't even realize that it was there, but it was a lot. 
Um, and I, <laughs> I was so excited um, and I was about to um, purchase more. Um, but I thought because I've got three, I'll maybe hold off. Um, I'll definitely put a set, another set of three of these in my next sh um update um or my next shipping from um Shane. But these are so amazing. I also didn't even know that they flip over. So you don't only have your razor, but you can actually keep it super secure. Um, if you're traveling, it just pops in your bag. It's not going to cut you. It's not going to hurt you. But I was overjoyed when I got these actually guys what I'm actually going to do while we're looking at them is just fold them all over and um, so you get a pink you get a yellow and you get um this is like a blue color blue purple color um so I'm really really happy I thought I was only getting one sent a pack of three didn't read the description um obviously um but I'm really really happy that I have these um so if you guys have have pink pink Peach fuzz. I can't even say that. Peach fuzz. These are really awesome. Guys, this is what... I don't know what this is. Let's have a look. Um, I do not remember purchasing this. But we have two chains. Um, we have a white chain with an extender. And we have a little... If I can get it to move down. You have a little... Um, silver heart I mean that's pretty I probably wouldn't use that but I definitely know my niece will wear this so I will give her that one I really like this chain though this chain's quite a, a nice heavy duty um, silver chain and I probably would wear this Um, I would just put maybe a little pendant on it so guys two of these for a pound I think is a decent bargain Um, so that's pretty awesome guys if you don't have never used sheen before I think I've only I think this is my third order from sheen um, I wanted this one to be, my other orders have been predominantly clothes. Um, I wanted this to be a non-clothing um, haul because I just wanted to see what other things that they had. Um, but if you guys haven't used Sheen, you really should try it out. It is so much fun. I love the quality of product. Um, I have had some really, some dodgy products. For the most part, I can say the clothes are true to size and the products are, are pretty decent. Um, I definitely am a Sheen convert. I definitely intend to shop a lot more with Sheen. Um, and I just, I love their stuff. Um, this, oh yes, I remember buying this. So guys, I love um, eyebrow, the eyebrow brushes that you get, um, but mine had broken. Um, this part at the back had broken. I love this to brush up my eyebrows. And then the um, the brush, oh my gosh, that's super soft. The really fine brush to define my eyes. Um, this little um, brush only cost a pound. I love the fact that it has these protectors. So when I put it into my makeup bag, this bit isn't getting bent constantly and broken. So I am overjoyed with this little item. Um, I went to buy one of these um, and it was £2.50. This one was 99p. It was 99p a pound um, and I got free shipping. So that's pretty awesome. Oh yes, I, <laughs> I don't know why I do these. Um, I purchased these little um these little erasers only because they remind me of the Japanese style erasers that you can get in the Daiso shops um I've never been to Japan I've never been to a Daiso shop but I watch a lot of videos about Japan and I cannot wait to visit and I am so super excited to get to a Daiso shop <laughs> so they just reminded me of them these are little fruit packs inside the pack you get two halves of what I assume are melons um because that's kind of what they look like um, I love the fact that it comes in this little pouch as well. So inside the little um, bag, which is adorable, um, you're getting four erasers. These are puzzle erasers, so they come apart. We have a pineapple. We have, I'm assuming these are melons. Uh, guys, if you know what these are, let me know. And this cute little um, strawberry. These were only, again, 99p. Um, so I think that is cute and it's a bargain and I just wanted to pick it up to see what they're like because I'm a big kid um guys yes this is so fun um this little um fidget cube kind of thing is one of these poppers you pop them in and pop them out 
I love this. It's on a key ring. This only cost um, £1.49. Um, I forgot about this. this. This is so much fun. Pop them all out. And then pop them all back in. This is a lot of fun. Um, I li like the fact that it's silicone. Um, if it gets dirty, it's wipeable. Um, it's wiped clean. But, I mean, for £1.49, I think that's okay. Um, I do know that they had a ton of others. Um, and maybe in my next order from Sheen, I will buy a lot more in their range and we'll go through them. But, yeah, I just thought this would be fun. And this is definitely for me to keep because... I love things like that. Um, let's see what else we've got. Okay, guys, I don't know about you, but I find that wearing a mask, um, especially if it sits on my skin, can be a little bit of an irritant. It rubs um, on my skin. So I ordered um, these little guards. These guards go inside your mask and keeps the mask from hitting your face, but affords you protection all, um, all the way around. Again, I thought I was only getting one of these. These were one pound. Um, I thought I was getting one of these. I got four. One, two, three, four. They're super soft plastic. Um, and I just think these are going to be so much better than wearing a mask um, stuck to my face. Um, I don't know why I'm not reading the descriptions. I see what I want. I look at the price. It looks like a decent price and I end up buying it. Um, but I, I mean, I got four of these. Four. For a pound. They're 25 pH. That's a, just an awesome bargain. I don't know why I buy these either, but I just wanted to see what this was when I got it. So this is um soft, clean soft soap. It is a pack of little um individual soaps. It cost um a pound for this little pack and it's watermelon scented. Um love the test tube. I think the test tube's quite cute. Let's get some out so we can show you guys. Um, and these are just little individual soaps um, to keep your hands clean. They don't so much smell of watermelon. I mean, they smell a little fruity, but not directly watermelon. But you're getting a, a ton of these little um, individual soaps. These would be good if you're traveling. They would be good if you're camping. You know, you're not bringing a big bar of soap and you don't have to put... Um, have to have a container to put the wet soap into. It is one little bit, wash your hands, um, it dissolves away, close up your lid and pack it. I mean, I think that's um, that's very useful. I just wanted to see what it was like, um, so I purchased it. <laughs> I always need a lint remover. Um, I hate having one of those big lint removers um, in my bag, so I purchased this little travel one. Um, it's just simple plastic, pretty um, pretty bog standard, um, and this is just to remove any hair from my clothes. I do have very, very long hair. It does tend to get everywhere if you guys have long hair let me know in the comments below but my hair is so long it gets all over my clothes and I just like to be able to quickly and brush it off so that we lint um we lint brush and um, was only one pound and I, I think that's pretty um pretty okay let's see what else we've got inside this bag okay guys just a couple more things let's pop our sheen bag back here I purchased this um makeup brush because I thought it was bigger it turns out that this is a little miniature um and it is miniature it's a miniature um foundation brush super soft though like really super soft fits in my hand really well um, I'm actually now not disappointed with this brush I'm trying to see do the fibers come out and they're not I mean there there's no fibers coming out of this brush it is super soft. Um, so this isn't actually a bad little, I'm not even going to put it back in because I'm going to use it, but that's not a bad little um, foundation brush. Um, it's compact. It's not going to take up a whole lot of room in my um, makeup bag. So yeah, pretty decent. I'm pretty happy with that. The next thing we have are anklets. I 
I really like an anklet, um, especially around summertime. Um, and I purchased this one because it had a set of two. I like the fact that I'm getting the contrast. Guys, just so you know that these were also one pound. Um, I like the contrast of having the thin, dainty, and the thick, um, kind of rocky chick look. Um, so depending upon what I'm wearing, I can actually, um, I can change it up. But for... Um, for a pound, I think they're pretty decent. I um, really, really like them. The, this um, thick one is super heavy. Um, not so heavy that it's going to kind of weigh me down or anything, but you can feel that there is a lot of metal in that um, in that little um, in that little bracelet. I love having um, perfume on hand. I don't like carrying a huge bottle of perfume I, I i genuinely don't um and i to be fair i guess it's more body spray that i like i have a real love of victoria's secret body mists um but i don't like carrying around the big ball so what i tend to do is buy these little um balls that you can decant your sprays into Oh, they just they click in. So that's pretty awesome that you can decant them into and you can have a little bit of spray on you at all times. I usually keep two or three at once in my purse um, so that I have them. And they're simply, oh, pop that back in. And they're just little sprays um, so that you can mist um, and you're not having to carry a big clumpy bottle with you. If you guys are familiar with Victoria's Secrets, their bottles are beautiful, but they're very, very big bottles. Um, and I don't want to carry one of those in my handbag because it can be quite weighty. Um, so for um, one pound, I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I got a set of seven. And I'm really, really happy with that. And that's going to last me quite a long time. So well done, Sheen. And thank you for that. Um, the next item I got, was this a knife? I'm nearly sure that I bought this because it's a knife sharpener. I think, because I think this is a knife sharpener. Um, yeah, I think this is a knife sharpener. I do um, have some blunt knives and I wanted to see if we can sharpen them up. Um, this only cost a pound. It is pure, pure, cheap um, plastic. Um, so I'll let you guys know in the comment how that goes. We have, I think I bought a box cutter. I don't own a box cutter, but I'm always cutting boxes. So I think I purchased this as a, yeah, it's a safety knife. Okay, so a, what I would call a box cutter. I like the shape of it in the little cloud. I thought that was different. And um, this again was only, um, was only 99p. Oh, okay. I like this. This is super comfortable in my hand. It is retractable, so it doesn't stay up. So it means when my thumb moves back, it's not, um, it doesn't stay out and I'm not going to cut myself. Let's see how sharp it is. The blade's not that big, but the blade is super sharp. Look at that. So that's a pretty awesome little um, bargain. I'm really glad to have that. And the last item that we have, which is my favorite item, it definitely is my favorite item, is this measuring spoon. It has everything from half a spoonful to one tablespoonful. And what you do is you use the thumb pad and you pull it down depending on what amount of uh, measurement you need. It has a little blocker right here, which stops the um, stops you picking up more than you need to. You scoop it and pop it in and it goes all the way down to one tablespoon. But you have all of these measurements in one handy little tool, which I just think is pretty awesome. I mean, this is half a teaspoon. That looks teeny, 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 tiny. But I love this. This is definitely my favorite item of the whole haul. So guys, that's everything that I have for you today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not yet a subscriber and would like to join us, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget about the notification bell. You guys will be notified of any of my future videos. I hope you're all staying safe. Um, please take care and I'm going to catch you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye.